Make sure you check out Strip Down this week. Wait a minute. Rapid tornado of questions. Ricasso! Coming all the way from the Queen City. This week, Strip Down goes green. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Jiminy. The last Saskatchewan performance. He's stripping me down. All the way from Crake, Saskatchewan. Tommy John. He's a friend of arms up. That's my case. Here's the first shot of the night. Keep it going. Basically, Keep you're saying you're better than Sit me. Sit down and play your instruments. Jay Semp. They'll bring the party. All you got to do is show up. Are we still on the air? <laughs> are watching Stripped Down, Saskatchewan's only one-hour local music showcase, the award-winning show that brings the venue to you in the comfort of your own living room. I am your host, Curtis Anderson. This is episode 74. We celebrated big. We spent 60 minutes with this band. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight on Stripped Down, the band F. What's for Jay? I'm just making sure that's it. The band F in the Shaw TV studio tonight. We're kicking stuff. Oh, man. I'm kicking it. We're breaking it's stuff. Armageddon already. Welcome <laughs> back to the show, Efren Pereira Jr. Hey, good to be back, Curtis. A full 50 episodes later. You were episode 25. 25. Good God. Here we are, Has it been that long? Episode 74. It's like we should insert some sort of slow moving montage of everything that's happened in between that episode and this episode now, but we don't have time because it's live TV. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing well. Good to be back. Awesome. It's good to be back. You brought in. the band this time. I did. I did. I don't know. You want to do some. I so uh, feel do, so naked. You want to do some intros? Yes. Mr. Doug Lusick. On the drums? On the drums. Well, yeah. <laughs> okay. This guy. And over <laughs> here is Mr. Sean Pyan, the bass guitar. So now, were these guys around? 50 weeks ago when you did episode 25? Mm -hmm. They were. Yeah? Yeah. Guys okay. Were, guys were around. So, but you we were kind of having a little falling out at the time. Yes, I, went, I decided true. to go solo that's for that That's not We've moved true. On. <laughs> the band F in 2010. What's the story? What are you guys hmm. doing? What's, what's well, going um, on? We might uh, be ambitious enough to make another album. I okay. don't know. We'll see what happens. What's uh, the album situation right now? Album situation? Well, it's One been under a, your belt, two under your belt. One and a half, there's a, a full length and an EP under the belt, but uh, a bunch of songs ready to get back. Yeah? On a, get on tape. Well, you're a busy guy. We have so much to talk about know, this episode. We want to talk about Star Lab. We're going to tease that right now. 
I'm going to tease Star talking about Star Lab. Crazy Lots of stuff baby. happening there. So how do you make time to still have your own band when you're dealing with other people's bands so often? Actually, don't really gig as much as we used to. <laughs> I think we're down to like four gigs a year now. So four it's been, we're all pretty busy. They have their own studio. They have a post-production studio also, Theta Lab. And so we're, uh, we're so all... So you have like competing studios? Yeah, we compete against uh, No, them. not really. Well, he deals with live music, and we deal with live know, TV and, and film. Oh, okay. We fight every Friday. I'm, catch yeah, it, I'm we, catching up here. Grudge matches usually yeah. weekly. Usually at the Yard and Flag, after, you know. So four yeah. gigs a year? Are they special? Is it like Christmas Eve, Halloween? Arena <laughs> gigs. No, strictly like, yeah. arena gigs. Random, yeah. Random uh, shows, you know. We tour with guys like... Pearl Jam and yeah. Radiohead. You've heard of yeah. Radiohead? Yeah. I don't know if you guys heard of those. They've guys. been on the show twice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you, if you no. missed it, you just, you know, I refuse to use them in the intro. Just, <laughs> it's We're one just, of those things. So yeah, they're okay. I try to keep it sask. <laughs> <laughs> try to keep it sask. Still a good vibe, though, coming out from you guys. Still yeah, enjoy we're playing fun, together. Yeah, we, yeah. yeah, we really do. We just, this is, it's an excuse for us to get together and have some fun and mm -hmm. play. Yeah. So four so. gigs, that's pretty much all time allows right now. You know, how many gigs did we have last year? I don't remember. Well, I think there were more than four. It's maybe five. Rounding down. We're, we're not planning Six. tours, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're not definitely not going on tour. Yeah. So give me a little more insight on what you guys do, because we're going to talk a lot about what Efren <laughs> does. So let's yeah, talk well, to you guys we, first. Uh, we started, Sean and I started a post-production uh, facility a couple of years ago, I guess now. Mm -hmm. So we're just kind of doing that kind of thing, doing audio for film and television. and yeah. Right here? Stuff. In the city, yeah. Huh? yeah it's, Lots of work. It's, you know, it's up and down, yeah. feast or famine, but... Uh, Probably during the we, summer you guys are swamped. Yeah, it's weird. Like, you, and then you, during you, the winter you're calling... It's F crazy. Going, hey, we're, it's, we're busy. It's <laughs> we're busy. Or it's when are we going to Australia? It's, it's, it's funny. You yeah. know, but All right. It's okay. It's, it's good enough. Best part of uh, still getting together and playing with F? What is it? Yeah, guys, think, what, is uh, what is it? What is it? What is it? TV, right? Yeah. <laughs> well... Be honest. I, mean, I, think, I think it's just the, the getting away and the, you know... Mm -hmm. Maybe don't be honest. Yeah, don't, don't be honest. It's just Lie. the playing. Lie I mean, we, we, the, the fun part is we don't, we don't have to get together and practice. We just get to go, get together and do live shows. And that's always, I mean, yeah, as anyone would tell you, the live shows are... are, are Pretty I mean, epic. Well, they're, they're epic, but they're, they're uh, you know, they're, it's a good way to blow off some steam. And, you know, uh, I mean, it's, it's good, thera mm -hmm. you know, therapeutic time for us. Yeah, you know, yeah. so something like that. No, I'm enjoying it already yeah, tonight. Like, you guys come with a great vibe because a lot of times we get bands on here that are just like, you know, this is it. We need to nail this. <laughs> this is this is going to get us to the top. Yes, so exactly. exactly. The, 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 we're not going anywhere. Yeah, right? the dream died years ago. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, so we're, we're, we're unfazed. <laughs> yeah. But new uh, new album hopefully in the works. So what are we going to yeah. hear tonight? This question I ask every week. You going to play all old stuff? You going to debut some stuff people might not have heard? Play, or? We'll, we'll probably play another one off uh, an album called Bob and the Starship Salvation Part Two. Kurt, that Kurt, just in a story in itself. He gave a shout out to our director, Jay Newfeld, the wonderful Jay Yay. Newfeld, right off the top. First time mm -hmm. ever someone's he, given a shout out actually, right off we, the top. When you asked me to do the show, he's like, well, like, only get him. If, you can only play here if you play something off Bob. So I'm like, That's oh, actually a true story. It. We that's were in Coles when that. <laughs> he so grabbed the cell phone from you while I was booking the show and he <laughs> yelled into it. That's and now it was. Okay. So we're under conditions here. We've so already, we've already cool. nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> that's not cool, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to, and I can hear Jay laughing in the headset. It's pandemonium here tonight. Let's get to a uh, second song. Sorry, sure. again, what was the first one real quick? Uh, that was called Dear Samurai. Okay. Yeah, it's, a, it's when Bob uh, discovers that he uh, has a chip in his head, and uh, he has to get out of er Dodge or Earth. That's so and, weird. Uh, That's the song I was listening to when I discovered I had a chip in my head. <laughs> That's Wow. It's, it's, it's mind-blowing. Right? It really is. Aliens it really is a coming-of-age yeah, song. Put chips in your head. So the pen is mightier than the lightsaber, so he, uh, he had to write a letter to his... Where could we possibly go for the second song, you guys? We're going to take you to How to Build a Time Machine. It's, a, it's like the second last song on the album, and this one Bob needs to go save his wife, Margaret, and uh, he has to find a scientist on some planet and get him to build him a time machine in exchange for his two robots. Yeah, so... It's a catch-22. <laughs> We've all been there. <laughs> I'm going to robot out of here, okay? Perfect. <laughs> All right. Hey, hey, hey. First, you buy yourself a scientist. Get him to build a wormhole. You might need a particle accelerator. 
Then you find yourself a black hole. Sagan No feedback. That's what we get on Strip Down. No feedback. No the band feedback. F Not loud in the Shaw TV studio tonight. We have to take our first commercial break, but when we come back, we are going to talk about Star Lab. Give it, give a tease. What could people expect? Star Lab. Star Lab. Say something that's going to make them this giant, expensive baby. There it is. Star Lab. We got lots more Strip Down with the band F coming up right after this. Don't go anywhere, more stripped down after the break. Mother's Music provides a wide range of instruments. 617 8th Street East, Saskatoon. Operating for 17 years with music lessons, equipment sales, and rentals. Mother's Music, www.mothersmusic.com. Ultimo Yurimoto Men's Clothing Store. Denim, footwear, leather jackets, sportswear. 204 3rd Avenue South, Saskatoon. Call 664-6640. Only Health Check has the Heart and Stroke Foundation's dietitians behind it. Check for Health Check, helping you make healthy choices. You know how many people get their water from underground? Water can come from the surface or underground. Groundwater is found in the layers of soil and rock beneath our feet in saturated areas called aquifers. This water source is collected in wells and supplies about half of North America's drinking water. The problem is the quality and safety of this underground water is directly affected by what we do on the land above it. What can you do to keep your drinking water safe? Groundwater starts on the surface, so whatever you put on your lawn that the plants don't use can seep into the groundwater. This includes excess chemicals and fertilizers, and even oil spills, so be sure to dispose of them properly. It's our turn to take care of this planet, and I think we can do a better job. What do you think? For more information on how you can be more water aware, visit waterunderfire.ca. Escape sports gear and equipment for longboarding, freeline skating, kiteboarding, unicycling, extra cycling, dirt surfing, and mountain boarding. For more information on sales and rentals, www.escapesports.ca. Ladies and gentlemen, the band F.
Blah. Well, that song ended abruptly. Van F <laughs> keeping me on my toes tonight. Okay, it's time for this. We teased it before the last commercial break. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna segue this. It's gonna be awesome. You'll notice we don't actually have an audio guy tonight. We can get a shot of that. What the hell? Colton Wall, not there this week. Now normally I would be freaking out not having an audio guy, but this week it's okay because you know what you're doing. There he is. Oh, there oh, he is. Oh, oh. go get it. Yeah, see, that's, Colt. that's what Colton audio. Wall looks like, and he's usually working the knobs there on the good old audio board. He's not here this week. There's no audio guy. I'm repeating myself. Usually that would make me worried, but not so much because you're pretty talented when it comes to audio, Efren Pereira Jr. Thanks, Curtis. What exactly is Star Lab? Do you want to say something about it, or should we just throw to the clip we made? Uh... Well, it's a, it's a recording studio here okay. in town by the River Landing, so... Why don't we roll a clip? That was a great intro. Can yeah. we roll a clip? Here it is. Star Lab recording. What are we looking at? I don't know what we're looking at. Hi, I'm Efren Pereira Jr. and uh, I'm with Star Lab recording studio. We're inside uh, this building here and we're on River Landing. This building's called Ideas Inc. It's a business incubator and uh, it's gonna help me grow my business. Come on in. Well, hello, welcome to uh, Ideas Inc. Um, actually, over there is uh, Miss Phyllis Loden. She is uh, executive director of Ideas Inc. And I, I'm fortunate to be here and Star Lab recording. Come on in. So this is our control room, and uh, right now we have Dan Canfield uh, doing some uh, mixing for a band called Jump Me Martha. He's got, we got the C24 console from DigiDesign. Um, and as you can see, there's a, quite a bit of equipment in here now, courtesy of Dan Canfield. Um, we're running Pro Tools HD. HD3, by the way. And uh, right behind you, this is a this is a a sound. What it does is it uh, scatters sound. It's called a space array. These were designed by Evgenia Mikhailova, partner in crime, and uh, we just use uh, some ab sound absorbing uh, materials, Roxel and uh, some funky uh, silver fabric to put over top of them. Pretty crazy. Here's a giant eye. So this doubles as a hallway slash vocal booth. And if you come through this way, this is our live room. As you can see, right now we got uh, we have nothing going on here this week, but uh, I thought I'd, uh, thought I'd uh, tell you a little bit about this room. Uh, when we, when I first got into this place, there was a, it was a thousand square feet of an empty space, and um, what, uh, what we did was we got to design how this room was going to be, um, going to be like. So we used a, a bit, quite a bit of science to uh, design this room. Uh, the walls are five-sided walls; um, they're all angled. And uh, the, pur the purpose of uh, angled walls is uh, so you can ha um, have no standing waves. Standing waves, what happens with standing waves is when there's two parallel walls, sound bounces back and forth, which uh, what, what happens is the sound, the waves get gathered in, the, in between and uh, create a muddy sound. So those are standing waves. That's something you want to avoid in any sort of recording because it really can muddy up the what you're trying to capture. Um, so we avoided that by having the walls angled. Uh, the length and the width of this room and the height is is uh, is part of a is is actually calculated into what what they call a room mode. Room modes are used uh, to make sure that um, sound sound waves travel at their optimum. So um, they're not getting cut off. Uh, and you can find that online. I uh, did a lot of research online and uh, found a couple of room mode calculators. So uh, 
Right now we have a 12 foot, 12.4 foot ceiling, 17.2 width, and 19.7 length. So very close to uh, preferred room modes, they call them. Um, yeah, a lot of stuff in here. Um, if you look behind you, that, that little blue thing standing there, that's a, that's a headphone mixer. So what you could do is uh, you, you slap, a, a slap a set of headphones in there and what, what we can do is we can send you, we can send you the mixes so you can, have, you can have your own separate mix just by, by clicking on to seven. Let's say you need more vocals, turn them up, turn it down. Oh, bass is too loud, turn it down. Pretty simple, pretty cool, um, very remote. In the corners are bass traps. So these bass traps, the purpose for the bass traps is to uh, absorb, absorb low frequencies. Uh, low frequencies are the, are, the, are the waves that tend to bounce around the room the longest, linger the longest. So what happens is they, when, when when they travel, they usually gather in corners of the room. This is us. This is the live room. This is what, what, uh, where all the magic would happen. And uh, great, thank you for coming down to Star Lab. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, the band F. The band F in the Shaw TV studios tonight. That was awesome, man. He's, he's, just, <laughs> he's on fire. I have to do a quick apology when I was doing my little spiel before about not having an audio guy. I walked out when the little video of Star Lab was playing, and you actually, there was an audio guy here. Is, yeah. They're so sensitive, so we should probably give him a <laughs> shout out. What's his name? Dan Canfield. Dan Can oh, Tim. The audio the guy. guy. The audio guy that's no longer here. He oh, got yeah, you all Tim. set up. And then he T left. Tim Bender. Yes. Tim he, Bender. Uh, kick spot. Yeah. TB. You're a heck of an audio oh, guy. I'm sorry I insulted you by having this little skit where there was no audio guy. It was a brilliant segue. I'm sorry. It worked. It worked. You're right. We got the band F. Lots more with you guys coming up in the second half of Stripped Down. And we're, we saw it. We're going to talk about it. Star Lab recording. Yes. Lots more Stripped Down coming up right after this. More strip down after this, 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 this. Wow, that was a big echo. Escape sports gear and equipment for longboarding, freeline skating, kiteboarding, unicycling, extra cycling, dirt surfing, and mountain boarding. For more information on sales and rentals, www.escapesports.ca. Tune in to Remote Control Cinema every Wednesday and Friday as host Simon Hyatt reviews the newest movies to hit Shaw On Demand. 
plus classics you may have missed the first time. Remote Control Cinema, only on Shaw. Team, you have eyes on subject? You get the tongue, son. Canadian Television, we're on your screen. Mother's Music provides a wide range of instruments. 617 8th Street East, Saskatoon. Operating for 17 years with music lessons, equipment sales, and rentals. Mother's Music, www.mothersmusic.com. Passing gas can be deadly. Whoa, oh, something's funky. Passing gas releases a plume of toxic vapors. Oh, oh, honey, not in the car. Like ammonia and hydrogen cyanide. Oh. Oh. And lethal poisons that can linger even when windows are open. Kids shouldn't be exposed to secondhand smoke. Don't pass gas, take it outside. You're watching Strip Down, the band F in the Shaw TV studios tonight. How are you guys doing? You feeling good? Yeah, yeah. it's great. F for Emperor Jr. Fantastic. making his long awaited, long anticipated return to Strip almost, Down. Almost 50 episodes. It's episode 74 right now. Can't believe it. If you roll back to November of 2008, it was our birthday episode, episode 25. Yeah. There is a not so epic balloon drop. Well, you were the it musical was your guest. It was, your it was birthday. my birthday. And it was Laura's. It was Laura Churchman's birthday. Churchman's we share the same birthday. birthday. Yeah. There was gonna be, it was gonna be a huge balloon drop at the end. He sang happy birthday. It didn't quite work out. No. And it's cursed because but another but band, you're, when we had them on this year, of course, Serotonin I'm talking yeah. about, they said you are like their Master Splinter. Do you want to talk about Serotonin real quick? Splinter. Yeah, like, like if they were the Ninja Turtles, you were Master Splinter. So you're kind of like <laughs> guiding these kids. Is that... I, what's I your think of Yoda, okay. but whatever. Splinter's cool. What's your relationship Crazy with rat. Serotonin? Um, well, actually, Serotonin, they... Uh, they, got a whole, they got in touch with me um, because they were looking to make an album, and uh, uh, we just kind of went back and forth, and I, I met them when they came into town we, and we chatted about what they wanted to do and how they wanted to go about it and when they wanted to start so basically yeah we kind of started that that relationship going with them um, with them getting a, an album out and uh, recording it so that was it's pretty cool uh, they're very three humble guys very talented and mm -hmm. um, it was fun to work with them well, it was funny because yeah. again you were episode 25 the birthday episode 2008 then thanks to you, Serotonin came on for the birthday episode 2009, and once again, the balloon drop didn't work. It's cursed. I don't know yeah. what it is. No more balloon drops, you guys. Still but, up there, but there was pie. Out. There was pie. We made up for it. There was pie. There was pie. Okay, that ended my run on Go Nowhere funny. story. Let's talk about Star Lab recording. That's yeah. what we're here today to talk about. Back when you were on episode 25, it was like the week before the official opening, the grand opening of Star Lab. Yeah. That's crazy. That's so, right. What's been going on? Man, well, Star we Lab we recording info. Well, we uh, opened up uh, in November. I guess that would be that year. Yep. Zero eight, and uh, that's been it's been really well. Uh, going really well. I mean, um, you know, it's it, the, the business side of things. You know, you try to you try to get away. You know, it's, my brain's always been on the right side, and mm -hmm. somehow it just switched over. I had to try to switch it over, and it's like it's a uh, it was a uh, been really challenging. But I'm having fun running the studio. I mean, it's always it's good to see musicians. What have some of the challenges been? Because, I mean, you're kind of late in the game. There's lots of recording studios out there, but Star Lab keeps coming up over and over and over in the last two years. So, I mean, you've I'm done incredibly you well. No, yeah. but, like, really, like, you're no, we're, trying to start something like that up in 2008 probably wasn't the easiest thing because there's, you know, like I said, already kind of some established here in Saskatoon, but mm -hmm. every third person we come on that comes on Strip Down is like, yeah, we're working with Star Lab. So really, what's, oh, what's been the successful formula? Uh, you know, I, th I think it's just the fact that uh, I... I was, you know, we're, we're part of the scene, the music scene, and, you know, when we were playing quite a bit, and uh, I had a chance to meet a lot of those guys in the scene, so when I opened up the studio, it, w it was, you know, pretty, uh, it, was com it was comfortable, you know, we, we didn't do a lot, we didn't do a lot to advertise this, it was just a lot of the, a lot of the people that I talked to, a lot of the musicians, a lot of the artists that uh, had, had advertised the studio, and it was, it was a lot of fun, because we, we had them actually had them come into the studio, record one song, and then if they liked it, they came back. If they didn't, well, whatever, stay la vie kind of thing. So it was, it was pretty cool. How did you so, line up that sweet location? Because, man, River Landing, 
Yeah, there's not a lot there, but I know. Star Lab recording is. No, I How know. did that fall into place? When uh, <clears throat> when I was uh, getting the business going, writing the business plan, I, I uh, we we had a little field trip and went inside this place. They called it a business incubator, and we're like, what the hell is that all about? So, went in there, and um, there was a lady, Phyllis Loden, who was executive director. She uh, she t took us on a tour, showed us around the building, and we came across this one area. It was no development, no businesses there at all. And you've seen it now, but at that time there was nothing there. And, and I, I saw this little, I, I saw an opportunity to put an, a studio in this one space that was about a thousand square feet. And we um, nice. took advantage of it. We had a Well, we will continue planning. talking about Star Lab, but we should get to another song. You guys are kind of having a little huddle during the last commercial break. You got it down. You know what's coming up next? Break. We'll see. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, yeah we'll see. <laughs> okay. We're kind of winging it's, it here. It's like a the bad F reunion show tonight because you guys don't play together that no, often so don't, you know? thanks for doing this I appreciate it <laughs> thank you for having us man. Thank this you. is great it's been it's been fun already awesome we're place. only half done so next song what do we got uh, a song called Harlot it's off the it's off the Bob album all right yeah take it away with Harlot And just like that, we're back. Man, you're making me work tonight. I'm hanging out over there. Oh, sorry, was there more? No. Nope, yeah, there's nope. two more verses. Okay. I, I never know with you guys. As long as no, just, just that one time you got down and you're doing some sort of feedback thing that didn't pan out, so it just stopped. It's still not going to work. Still not going to work. Yes. yes. No balloon drops, no feedback. No, I'm not even going to try a balloon drop with you. Some sort of. Efren Pereira bad luck balloon drop thing. It, it, I think it yeah. is. We're you were really sick though, because you were supposed to come that night when serotonin was on. That's and right. there was rumors that you had uh, <laughs> like what was going around back then that everyone was getting the shot for? Yeah, the swine flu. Yeah, whatever, whatever that was. Whatever that was. H1N1. Uh, H1 H1 See, it was so long ago. But you're okay? I'm okay. You just really didn't want to come back on the show. <laughs> no, that's the... <laughs> okay. Focus. I want those guys to be... Uh, Focus. Star Lab recording. What? Things are going incredible. What's yeah. the story in 2010, a year and a half later, or a year and a few months later? Uh, yeah. Lots of huge acts come through there, big lots, acts. Lots, lots of... Keeping it Saskatchewan. You know, we had Wide Mouth Mason and Big Sugar, and, well, Gordy Johnson from Big Sugar yeah. on uh, New Year's Eve. New Year's Day. New Year's Day. And January 2nd, January 3rd, they were there working on... Uh, uh, Gordy Johnson was producing Wide Mouth Mason stuff, so they were kind of hanging in the studio. And What was that like for you to sit fun. there and be like, hey, this is the house Efren Pereira Jr. built? Here's Wide Mouth Mason. Here's Gordy, like in my studio in River Landing. It was great, man. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a pretty cool feeling. Is <laughs> you know, it's it's always a reward just uh, going in the studio and being able to work on music and and record such great musicians here in in Saskatoon, you know, in Regina. I mean, there's so much talent. It's beautiful. Nice. Yeah. So things not even close to slowing down. Uh, it doesn't look like it. You know, we. We're, uh, we're working on a few new little ideas, and, and maybe I can pitch one to you. Pitch away. It's called March Madness. 
Um, yeah, you have so to say but, it like that? Yeah. March Madness. March Madness. Okay. It's because it's madness. <laughs> and, uh, and so basically bands would come in, and it's going to be a one-stop shop where you, you, you know, it's old school style. You come and bang off as many songs as you have rehearsed. And you know, within seven hours, eight hours, and uh, and we take the CD, we mix it, or we mix everything, and and you got you get 50 CDs with artwork, um, and you get a free mem membership from uh, SAS Music, and the CDs will be duplicated at uh, Precision Media, which is right now it's Can Disc, Canada mm -hmm. Disc, or Can Disc, uh, kind of confusing, but it's it, it's pretty cool that they're jumping on board to help out with this, so it's it's a package. That's, That's insane. Uh, like nine ninety nine. Obviously, nothing like that was available, you know, back when you were starting out. Like that's an incredible mm -hmm. opportunity for up and coming musicians here in the city. So, like, well, it's why our anniversary? Why, what? It's yeah, our anniversary. So it's a two year Star Lab anniversary. So, so that was good. your idea. This is your baby. Yeah. So you kind of mentioned it, but I mean, like, you know, that's that's huge giving back. Why why do something like that when you could just sit back and let the you know wide mouth Mason big sugar money roll in? <laughs> why, why taking the? Why are you taking the initiative to you know help out some of these younger up and comer bands? I don't know. I, I th you know, I, I, uh, I really believe in the scene, and I, I, I want to help with uh, you know being part of this whole growing our industry because it, I think it d deserves people to jump in, and you know it's pretty cool. It's it, I'm on board with SAS Music too, so it's uh, so it's something that I always it's a volunteer position where you get to really know the scene inside out, you know. So it's uh, it's fun. I like it a lot. I'm a Saskatchewan boy at heart, nice. even though I've lived everywhere in Canada, but so almost everywhere. So these up and coming bands, or I guess solo acts, how can they get a hold of you? Can we put the put the website up at the bottom here. Yeah, just go to our website and then contact us. Um, there sh there should be uh, by the time this airs, we uh, well well actually no. You'll be rolling as we speak. Yes, you will be able to go onto our website and uh, check it out. All right, March Madness. Before March. the next song, let's involve the uh, other two guys in your band. They're probably asleep by now. So, uh, yeah. Hey. <laughs> you want to tell hey. the story of how the band got together real quick? Yeah, how do we get together? Um, Let these guys give it, it was give some it over beers. Yeah. Definitely beers were involved. Yeah, in that. usually beers are involved. couple. Any Can we say things? beers? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> yeah, we just... This is not a good show. We all worked together for a while. And, oh, that's uh, right. And then just got the, that connection we decided, you know, hey, you play drums. I got an album. Don't you play drums? <laughs> actually, Are we talking we as someone I'm else? I'm talking yeah, third got, person. Okay. Uh, Sean and I, just, I, I <laughs> Sean is actually a guitar player, and he never played bass ever. When I said, hey, man, you want to be the bass player? Mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, sure. And was there about, it is. Two yeah. years, three years ago? It was, uh, it was, was about that? like Four? five or six. We, we, we oh worked God. on an album. Yeah, Efren yeah. and I worked on an album together. He was producing, I was engineering, and we kind of right. re reacquainted hmm. um, in Saskatoon. We had Hung out a little bit in Montreal when Ephraim was living there, but got back into town and... I read that on the MySpace, actually, that this all started kind of in Montreal. I don't know yeah. if that's true or not. Yeah, it, it spawned in Montreal, for sure. You were wearing a big funny hat on the MySpace yes. picture. Oh, my horns. The horns. My helmet. <laughs> helmet of horror. I hope I wasn't, like, culturally insensitive there when I called it a funny hat. It was, was, it, was it just a funny hat? It was, uh, no, it was, uh, it was actually a helmet, and this guy put horns on it. Oh, okay. And it's not it a like Filipino. These, yeah, okay, yeah. Episode. I was like, oh. <laughs> it, looked pretty, uh, it looked pretty epic. This is where it's the band storms off angry <laughs> again. Okay, let's get oh, to yeah, another song. Okay. What is up next? Well, it's a song called uh, Slaves to the Lake, mm. and uh, it's off, also off the Bob album. It's okay. when Bob splashes into a planet that's 100% water. So. It's almost a shame we're not just, just talking about the songs tonight. Or the, or the story. Yeah, yeah be, really. But okay. It's episode 200, maybe. 200, yes. Or 220. 220? Something. I don't know. 220, 221 and a half. Yeah. I'm putting that on the calendar right now as you guys play. All right, take yeah. it away. Yeah.
That one ended kind of normally. Good for you guys. I, I saw it coming. I saw the, 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 the pitch tone timbre. Here I am. Next album. Is it also going to be a concept album? Because those are pretty ambitious. I know, they are pretty ambitious. Yeah, it is actually. Yeah? <laughs> nice. <laughs> and it's called the Beige Album. It's going to be like a, an assortment of... The Beige every, Album? Every style of music that I, you know, was, I grew up listening to kind of thing. Influenced so, by. So how is the Beige Album going to compare to the last album? It's gonna. <laughs> Anyone else? Uh, no one else. Uh, I tried we have no to idea. Well, it's gonna be completely yeah. different, but kind of the same, and a lot. Well, that's all I can different. say about that. Really, yeah, a lot of different. Yeah. That sounds like a catch twenty two. Different done. similarities. It's, it's similarities. gonna. Be, it's not gonna be different at all. It's yeah. gonna be uh, pretty much the same. Well, the same <laughs> song is played backwards. We're gonna. We're gonna. Yeah. Is it, is it just gonna be a cover? It's gonna be, of the, yeah. it's gonna be good. It's gonna be a cover. It's gonna be as good as a white album. Let's no, it's gonna. It's gonna definitely not gonna compare at all. It's gonna suck. No, actually. This is going to be... It's going to suck. It's, it's, yeah. It'll be fun. <laughs> oh, Shoot, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Any uh, dates set? Or are you guys still just hammering it out? We're, you know, we're all pretty busy right now. Well, yeah. So gonna, <laughs> yeah, so I, it's eventually... Doesn't sound like you'll have any time in March now either. So yeah. It just you know. keeps getting pushed back and pushed back. I think I wrote on in MySpace that it was going to be done by 2010. Ooh. When would you have written that, though? Like Goody. 2005? <laughs> uh... Yeah, probably. Crazy. No, 2005, 2000. No, 2008 ish. It would have been good if you could have brought out before Chinese Democracy from Guns well, N' Roses. Well, it's going to be a four, four album. That it's going to be a four years. album CD. Now we're mocking mm -hmm. poor Axel. That's all we need tonight. <laughs> That's actually not a bad album. So, how long did that take? Uh, that took like 13 years, 14 years? I can't remember how long that one took. 15. 15 okay. years? Okay. I think so. We're and going to take at least 15. Yeah. It's going to take at least 15 years, and it's going to be like seven albums in one. So you guys should have beat him and named your album the Chinese Democracy. Filipino um, he, communism. We, we picked out that I said it was a good album. <laughs> Cut that. Please no. edit that. It was better than I thought. <laughs> Chinese Anyways. Democracy. Anyway, we're looking for a new drummer. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> um. Are we still on the air? No, I'm just kidding. The band <laughs> F rocking out tonight. We probably should take our last commercial break. We're going to wrap this crazy train up. Or this night train, huh? Night train. Night train? Another night Axel train. Rose right No, that's crazy train, sorry. <laughs> yeah. you, do you know night train? Uh, Bottoms up. Night no? okay. train. Let's just go to commercial break. Okay, how's it going? All right. We've got lots more stripped down. We'll actually, we, just, we wrap it up with F the band coming up after this. <laughs> Stick around, more stripped down after the break. Do you know where stuff goes once it's flushed down the toilet? It travels down pipes under our streets to a sewage treatment plant. There it is cleaned up through a variety of processes before it is sent back out in our lakes or rivers. The problem occurs when people flush things down the toilet like makeup, cleaning supplies, and some pharmaceuticals that the sewage treatment plant can't clean up. They are dumped untreated into our waterways, which other people depend on for their drinking water. Some cities continue to dump their sewage untreated into our waterways, while others are using innovative thinking to reuse sewage byproducts as fertilizer. What can you do? Be sure to properly dispose of any chemicals or unused medicine at your city's hazardous waste disposal site. It's our turn to take care of this planet, and I think we can do a better job. What do you think? For more information on how you can be more water aware, visit waterunderfire.ca. Ultimo Yurimoto Men's Clothing Store. Denim, footwear, leather jackets, sportswear. 204 3rd Avenue South, Saskatoon. Call 664-6640. Mother's Music provides a wide range of instruments. 617 8th Street East, Saskatoon. Operating for 17 years with music lessons, equipment sales, and rentals. Mother's Music, www.mothersmusic.com. Escape sports gear and equipment for longboarding, freeline skating, kiteboarding, unicycling, extra cycling, dirt surfing, and mountain boarding. For more information on sales and rentals, www.escapesports.ca. <laughs> Canadian television, we're on your screen. Don't touch that dial, more stripped down after this. 
Mother's Music provides a wide range of instruments. 617 8th Street East, Saskatoon. Operating for 17 years with music lessons, equipment sales, and rentals. Mother's Music, www.mothersmusic.com. Ladies and gentlemen, the band F. Yeah. I think that. All right, we're back. Woo. The band F, <laughs> possibly the shortest song in the history of Stripped Down. Yes. What was that? Yes. We get it all said right away. I mean, we don't have to go for this four minutes. This is true. It's, you uh, don't need things all... like choruses and verses. No one. Need... Yeah. What was that? What was the that song last song? is called uh, "Smiley Girl Face Plus Smiley Guy Face Equals Money and Happiness." <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> was it? It doesn't off... really have a title. It just oh, really? kinda, was it yeah. off the album? No, it was off the EP that I, we did okay. back in. Like Montreal. Let's go back and talk about so an album and a half. Are yeah. they still available? Can you get them? No. See, they're I kind just of limited one. They're out of yeah. They're really seriously you can't. Well, we until we mix more. Make, okay. Make a few more, but so uh, we sold out of a bunch. Uh, out of all of them, actually. What year cool. did the concept took us, album? It's a while come out. to sell it though. Um, what year? That was two thousand and two. Okay. That concept album came out. And then mm. the mini album. Mini album came out in two thousand. So you're due. You're due. We're you're due, due for another album. Due. The beige album. Was that was that you guys being facetious? Or is that actually what it's going to be? Yeah, it's going to be the it's beige gonna be album. It's going to be the beige album. It's going to be a concept album. Yeah. The concept is a bunch of random different songs. sounds. So three, three or four albums. It's like an anti concept. Songs. Yeah. Album. We'll be, we're going to try to catch up to all the time we missed. Yeah. So. It's going to yeah, be like a, a look, look back. It's going to yeah, be like a, be a four disc montage of the times. It's going to be a musical page, journal. <laughs> okay. Not journey. Journal. Star Musical Lab. Journal. March Madness. Reiterate. March Madness. Or March Madness. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, a heck of an opportunity. Yeah. It's just for uh, new bands to come. What are they getting again? Well, they're going to get, uh, they're gonna get uh, seven hours of uh, recording. Just bang, 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 bang. Practice hard. Practice lots. Mm -hmm. Practice. And uh, they, get, uh, they get 50 copies from uh, Canada Disc, Precision Media of a CD, uh, they get to pick our work template um, from uh, our website, and they get a SAS Music membership, courtesy of SAS Music. Now, between the three of you, I'm sure you've seen it all over the last decade, so advice to these, obviously these are going to be like, you know, up and coming bands, yeah. trying to make their name here in Saskatoon, what advice do you have for bands that are in that position, that want to come and take advantage of this opportunity, like what do you say to a band? What was it about Serotonin that you saw? Uh, they had a, well, I mean, Great guys with, uh, I mean, the, Evan, who wrote the songs, he had a, such a really interesting way of approaching songwriting, so I thought that was pretty, that was pretty cool, you know, and uh, it's really tight for, you know, um, the amount of time that they've been together, so they practice a lot, and that's, practice? I think, I don't think you drilled that enough. Yes, practice. practice. How about I'm not you talking guys? about 10,000 hours. I would say for, for bands just starting out, you know, uh, motivate, you know, stay motivated and, and tour. Tour, tour, tour. Yeah. Every show you play is worth 10 practices. Play. Go yeah. play everywhere you can play. Play for crappy little places that don't pay you money. Play for two people. <laughs> play for the waitress and the bartender. Play. Just play. Get out there. Yeah, for some reason I winced when you said play crappy little places that don't pay yeah. you money. <laughs> kind of we don't practice. Reaction. I'm sorry. We, <laughs> we should practice what we preach yeah. or preach practicing something like that you know what i mean <laughs> doug so, we preach practicing so advice to up-and-coming bands here in saskatoon i'll quote uh, like viv savage from spinal tap have a good time all the time mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all the time have, have a good time enjoy it mm -hmm. don't take it too seriously yeah <laughs> you know enjoy it enjoy the journey so what's the future of the band f not a lot of time to get together anymore i think uh, we're gonna too be busy um, making money we're gonna do a world tour Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah yeah 
We're going to hit places like uh, Fiji. Asquith Island Tour. Asquith. We're going to go to Asquith? Asquith, okay. probably. Asquith's cool. I was there. The it's a pretty Fiji. cool place. Um, that's about it, really. Germany? Germany. Australia. Germany. Philippines. Since we're the throwing world. out just the world. throwing out random ideas here, I have to bring it up. We're gearing up. This is episode 74. We got episode 75 next week. In fall, we're looking at episode 100. I can't believe Curtis that. Curtis Anderson. Wow. Out of ideas. <laughs> what do you guys think, man? Episode 100? You, like, like, what should we do? Seriously. Train me? monkeys to play instruments. I do that every week. Uh, oh! oh! Sorry, you guys. I'm just kidding. Make sure balloons fall. Make sure the balloons, balloons fall. Maybe she just, like, gets uh, somebody to just kick balloons at you guys instead of having it fall. Yeah. That's, I think it'd be better. Like, if, you, if you've been watching 99 <laughs> episodes of Strip Down, you think that's going to do it, having people kick balloons? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know. That's, like, what do you... That would work for me. They've never had balloons on the show. That's where it's at. That sounds great. Uh, I, you know, I think you should. Uh, I think you should call up all the people that were, you know, that you've had, and just like make these, make them have a band, like make a super group. Jam. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Like a super group. Kind that's of like not a, a bad group. idea. You we can have picked. like risers, and you know, you everyone can sing a different. Are the world. Yeah. Yeah. Stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Your viewers pick the, the, the members that they want to join. It could be interactive. Yeah, the viewers get to choose what members are going to play in the super band. Yeah, that's you a good idea. That. You've got all these connections. Maybe Widemouth Mason or Big Sugar could come on episode maybe, 100, maybe. Maybe. I'll, uh, maybe yeah, if there's balloons. Get Gordia If there's yeah. balloons, yeah. There'll yeah. be balloons. I can't promise you they're number. gonna drop. Okay, let's wrap this episode up. The Bad okay. F. Closing thoughts, my friend. Did you have fun? I had a great a time. Hour. Thank you very much. Any, uh, any closing thoughts? Anything you want to get out there? Self-promotion? Uh, yeah, we, Sean and I have Theta Lab. We love doing it. It's fun. Come, come talk to us. Yeah, thetalab.ca. If you're a filmmaker or, you know, yeah. you just, yeah. you know. Nope. Do no you guys, budgets. like, get together, make, like, music videos? You know, you got the music. You guys got the kit. No? Well, no. We maybe. don't actually do video. We should do videos. We should do the audio. Oh, video. okay. We should do a video with you guys. We should. Yeah. With the volunteers and stuff. That's going to be fun. It'd be yeah. good. Just running around town. For yeah. the beige album. The beige yeah. album. You're in. Yeah. Everyone's yeah. waving. Everyone's Thanks for everybody. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, thanks for Sean, everyone. final yeah. words, closing thoughts. Yeah, no, this, is, this has been really great. Your coffee is fantastic. Thank you. It, it is. It tastes pretty it delicious. It really is. Yeah. That's about it. Efren Pereira Jr. Curtis Anderson. Episode 25, mm -hmm. episode 74. It's been the journey. It has been, it's been the journey. Quite the journey. What? It's been a journal. People are it's laughing. been a journal. I don't know what's it's going on here. What does this mean? Oh, is that the wrap it up? What is it? What is yeah. it? Fade to black. Okay. <laughs> hey, Curtis, man. I have no great longer time. in control of the show. The camera yeah, people do. are giving us signals. Give a big hand I was kind of hoping that song after the break was a little more than 30 seconds and we wouldn't have had to tap down so much. But you know what? <laughs> it's the band F. You do what you can. I'd like to thank everybody for watching our cast, our crew, our sponsors, Ultimo Uramoda Escape Sports, and of course, Mother's Music for all things stripped down, including pictures of every single episode we've done. Go to www.myspace.com slash stripped down sask. By the time you're seeing this, these guys' pictures will probably be on there because I've got this weird, I've got this weird like time machine thing. I was inspired by your first album, Time Machine. For the last time tonight, ladies and gentlemen, F the band. Yeah, Mr. Curtis. You're doing a great job for the local scene, man. Yeah. Woo!
not the best. His personal appearance is not the best. Coming up this week on Strip Down, we got a brand new episode. Returning after a 50 episode absence, it's Efren Pereira Jr. And he brought his band. This week on Strip Down, it's the band F. <laughs> 